Hello and salutations, my name is John Johnson and welcome to another episode of Almost Said Paper Mario. Of, uh, I haven't even recorded Paper Mario in a while. Of Yoshi's Island, of, of, of. <laughs> in the last episode we took on the boss of World 1, Silvio the Slime, and the first level of World 2, which involved Koopas and Tetris. You, you, you just had to be there. In this episode, we're going to take on the baseball boys. So, it amazes me how many people don't draw a parallel between these guys, the sports enemies in this game, and the, uh, what are they called? Chuckster? No, not Chucksters. Uh, the Chucks. They're Charlies, or whatever they're called, from, uh, their first Super Mario World. The football players! And soccer ball players. It's the general sports enemies. Like, for some reason, I don't hear that many people realize that, I don't, I mean, I, I don't necessarily know for sure that those, that, uh, the baseball boys in this game and the Ch uh, Charlies or Chucks or whatever they are from the first Super Mario World are related, but I mean, they're obviously similar. Not a lot of people draw that conclusion, though. It always made me feel weird whenever I bring it up. Of course, I feel weird most of the time, anyways. And here we have those annoying things that you just kind of have to constantly dodge. The little cactuses that shoot homing things at you. Because that's not annoying at all. Alright. Alright, and instead of going to the right there like we could, we're actually just gonna circle around and use one of the new mechanics we learned in the last episode. The, uh, Super Baby Mario! Soup! So soup has become a thing with me, apparently. <laughs> Ever since that episode of Mega Man. Get the red coins out of there. I don't know why. Like, the first time it was an accident, and then I did it as the, uh... <laughs> the outro for that one episode. Now, I don't- I just make myself laugh with it, like, every time. I know I'm stupid, but whatever. I guess I need to explain this little, uh, directional, the little arrows, when you shoot an egg with them, it'll shoot the egg in that direction. And now we are Super Baby Mario running. The Super Baby Mario segments are usually pretty easy. There's- you have to be careful about when you jump, but usually you just hold the directional pad in one direction and it'll take care of the rest by itself. And we actually need to be Baby Mario in order to jump over these uh, spikes, which are in invincible on whenever you're Baby Mario. Not Yoshi, however. When you're Yoshi and you fall in things, that is insta-kill. Insta-kill. And it's super, super friggin' annoying. Alright, we're just gonna bypass old baseball man there. Get ourselves a flare. Try and dodge these. Those eggs, when, they, when they hit you with them, they don't hurt, they just knock you around some. But it can knock you off into the pit, and that's bad. And here we're actually going to use this baseball guy, who is invisible to these spikes, little bastard, as a tool to get what is in that, uh, that, uh, the, the fucking thing. We get one up and a red coin. Always a good thing. Always. And yet another new mechanic. We're just full of them. They're not really a new mechanic, but a new kind of watermelon. Uh, these watermelons will freeze anything they touch. In this case being Shy Guys and... Uh, piranha plants. You get three shots per watermelon. Only three per watermelon. Remember that. <laughs> Alright, here we have a little area. That's it. <laughs> that's all the information I can come up with at the moment. We have a little area right here, that's all. And that would have been star points, obviously, if I didn't have 30, which... Yeah, I have 30. Whee! Almost fell there. Alright, let's stock up on eggs real quick. And then continue on. I really don't like this level that much, to be honest with you. I had to play it two or three times in practice just because of uh, technical issues. Not not like serious technical issues, but I just forgot to save. <laughs> Which is now considered a technical issue, by the way, not just a John is stupid issue. And there you go. I don't know if you can see that because I got it really fast, but there was another flower. And this this part is why I don't like this level. Just this little maze area here. Because there's all these freaking homing cactuses, which are what I'm calling those. I doubt those are the actual name. Then you have these freaking egg-stealing mice, little bastards. I will eat you. And the uh, roof piranha plants, obviously. And on top of that, there's actually a flower that's really hard to get here, and a few other things that are pretty difficult, and uh, may or may not get them. We'll see if I'm successful or not. But on the upside, we do have uh, some, water me uh, some freeze melons. Freeze melons, ice melons, whatever you want to call them. That I just almost wasted there. You know, you know what, Piranha? Okay, whatever. Just waste the friggin' melon, whatever, who cares? I don't, apparently. 
Actually, it's this part that, um, that I was... No, 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 this isn't it either. It's in this level. I know it's in this level. It's just later. It's actually kind of a long level. Alright, so let's molting along. Again, there are uh, two red coins here. And I believe they are that one, and there's one at the end. So I'm gonna skip over some of these. I'll get some of them just in case I'm wrong, too. Yep, there it is. Right, and even if we run out of time now, that won't be that big a deal. But I think we got it. Yeah. Go. Cool. Yeah, it is this part right here. This part annoys me because it's just this long little trek through a bunch of crap for nothing really. And then on top of that, has those those few hard to get things, like particularly that flower. And these, these are actually kind of hard to get. Except that I just did one shot because I'm awesome. But you know, whatever. It's not like I had it on camera or anything. Oh wait, I totally did. <laughs> That's another thing I kind of like about Elping is that uh. Like, I, I, I told my uh, my older sister, who I mentioned in the reveal video for this, you know, she's one of the reasons I play this game, she had it first. And uh, I was telling her that I was playing it for a, a LP, and uh, she kind of like laughed at me, said, oh, that game was so hard, blah, blah, and we got all nostalgic about it and everything. And uh, she, uh, there's something, I can't, I can't even remember what it was, but I told her I did something in one of the episodes, like, really, really good, like a whole lot better than I usually do. And this thing's gonna get annoying. Come on, you little tap tap. You guys are really annoying. I just want you to know that. I just want this freaking cloud over here. Come on. Jeez. Was that really so hard? Was it really worth that? Just for one up? Yes. Yes, it was. Alright, you go away. You freaking. I will lick you into submission. Take that as you will. Anyways, I got off track. <laughs> uh, ha! Destroyed you. Uh, I was telling my sister how I did something a whole lot better than we, than I used to when I was a kid, or we used to when we were kids. And she's like, nah, -uh, and I was like, baby, I got it on video. And then she got on to me for saying baby and being cocky, but whatever. I got some red coins. That took it. That's pretty hard to get to if you're not good like I am. I keep waiting for my hubris to catch up with me. It hasn't happened yet, but it's going to. Don't worry. Alright. And here we have a pretty difficult little... Oh, man. Uh, let's see if I can go and get some eggs to do that again. Actually, I need to get rid of this ice. And uh, do I have 30? Yeah, I have 30 star points, but there's a flower here if you need it to get some more. Now, we have one egg to get this with. Let's see if I can do it. Actually, actually, no, 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 no. Ah. All right. Ha! I'm awesome. That's the first time I've done that. Oh, God, and I almost died. I almost fell on the spikes, and I, I would have cried. I'm not even going to lie. No, no, you are not ruining my perfect score. I, I would have cried if I died right there. All right. 100% here I come. Yes. Awesome. I love 100%ing these levels when I don't expect to. And then I don't get a bonus game because my luck and hubris are blah, blah, blah. LP plus. Cur plus? What is an LP plus? LP curse. Jeez. John. Speak of the English. And let's continue on to 2-3. I'm going to bust into the song a lot in this LP, I think. What's Gusty taste like? I have no idea. You know what, game? There's a lot of questions you could have asked me. Some of them I could have answered, you know? Not that one, though. That that stumps me. I have no idea what these things taste like. They look like shopping bags, so I'm going to say... I'm going to say plastic. They taste like plastic. Right. Shoot an egg up there, and shoot a cloud up there, and then shoot this here, or hit this here red thing, and you get coins. Explanation 101. <laughs> because I'm good at games and stuff. No. No, I'm not. I'm not at all. Whee. So, World 2 is where I really start sucking. <laughs> just just to give you a heads up, this is where I stop 100%ing uh, and doing all that really good. Like, I know in my practice file, I got a bunch of, like, 70s and 72s and all that in my final scores for levels. Mostly because of star points. Oh god, oh god. And just so you know, if these little sh shopping bag in the wind gusties hit you, they do... Uh, not Baby Mario, uh, out of, out, out of you, off of you. 
just like any other enemy. Didn't mean to kill that Gusty, but whatever. He probably deserved it anyways. Because Gusties are horrible, horrible, horrible creatures. You know, I don't mean I don't mean to be racist or anything, but they're just they're not good they're not good creatures. They're not. They're very evil. And apparently they taste good. Yoshi seems to like them. And here we go. So I actually died a bit on this level. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. We'll find out. Uh, that tutorial box is saying that these are breakable surfaces and all that, which obviously you pretty know, pretty much know by now. Yep. Beep, beep, you're off. Good for making stairway stuff. And here's why I kept freaking dying on this level. These freaking bats. They are so annoying. They draw, they go in random patterns and can just come out of nowhere, and they're kind of hard to see. Not necessarily hard to see, but they're just small. I killed that one with some. Another. I'm gonna kill a bat with another bat, or not? Actually, I'm still gonna do it. Wait for it. Ah, oh, he just flew away. You little bastard. You weren't supposed to do that. Yay, one coin. At least we got the flower and some what would have been star coins. And here in Baby Mario again, Super Baby Mario. I'm not even gonna bother trying to kill these bats. So for these, just screw those bats. I didn't like those bats. I don't like any bats actually. What is a uh, what are the bat enemies from Zelda? Keith, hate them too. If you are a bat and in a video game, I hate you. Except for Batman, because I mean it's Batman. Nobody can hate Batman. Not even the Joker. Except for you know when he does. I am rambling and incoherent. Wow, that egg got some major air mi mileage. Yeah, just whatever. <laughs> uh, bam, 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 bam. Uh, stop. Okay, I have to stop that. That's gonna get annoying. Stop singing with Yoshi Allen music. Well, I guess I'm not really doing anything. I'm sitting here stocking up on eggs, but still. Go away, man. Nobody loves you. Some watermelons here if you need them. Uh, that would have been star coins, I believe. And here we have a mole tank again. This is like what the third time we've seen this transformation. They use it pretty often. And obviously, there's a key up there which we're gonna be going to. You could take this little exit there if you're a pansy. I don't know. I really don't know why you would though. You're not exactly pressed for time here, but whatever. Alright, so we got the key now, and now let's go get to the door, which if you remember was way up here. Also, I should mention, if you kill an enemy, especially these bats with watermelon seeds, they actually turn into a star point usually. I'm full on star points, so I just got a coin that time, but uh, usually they will turn into star points, and I need that chomp rock back. Chomp rock, chomp rock, there we go. Chomp rocks are your best friend in this game. They are the companion cube of Yoshi Island. Yoshi's Island, whatever. Throwing balloons! Blah, blah, blah. We already been over this. Let's see if we can actually do better this time. Uh, I have to concentrate. I really have to think about all these button mashes before I make them. I feel the Jaws theme playing in the back of my head, just so you know. It's like at any moment now, the shark could strike and take Yoshi's head off. Oh man, I'm doing pretty good. Knock on wood. Do not, do not come back to haunt me, Hubris. No, 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 no. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, oh man, oh man. Bust, 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 yeah! Yeah! That was weird. And I got a one-up, I think. That's awesome. Again, I just keep waiting for my hubris to come back and haunt me, but it hasn't yet, so... How many lives do I have? I have 41 lives. Trust me, I'm gonna need every one of them. Oh, man. Bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna leave the watermelon there, because I... Like, I don't mind the watermelon, really. But at the same time, I'm just not a big fan of it, either. It lasts a really long time, which I, I guess could be considered a good thing, but honestly, it just kind of annoys me. Not always, though. There are certain situations where it's good. Oh, alright, for people that have played this game, how do you get that one up? I've never been able to figure out how. Now, I know there's a pit back here you can fall into, 
And I'm thinking maybe you can, because sometimes when you fall through a pit, you can actually hover under it. Like, you have to keep hovering and all that. But that's the only way I can figure out how to get that. But even then, that doesn't seem right. I don't know. I've never been able to get that freaking one up, though. And it's really annoying. Just had to rant there for a second. Alright. Here we have another Chomp Rock. And you, you guys ready for this? Like I said, Chomp Rocks are your best friend. And here's why. Destroys everything. Tap Taps included. Everything that is in its way just gets massacred. 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 Blech. Dang, we didn't get a single gold game this episode, did we? Oh well. Dun, dun. Did we 100% that? I don't know. Nah, no, nah, we didn't. We missed a oh man, we missed a lot of coins. Wow. 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 Oh well, 89. That's not bad. That's a B. I'll take a B. Alright, so we're actually going to call it there. Uh, thank you guys for watching so very much. I really do appreciate it. Uh, as always, like if you like. Leave a comment. Tell me what I did right, what I did wrong. Subscribe, which is a new word I made up, but you probably can guess what it means. Subscribe if you want to see more, which hopefully you do. And share with your friends. Uh, thank you guys for watching again. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next episode.